careful with the front wing. to P10. condition for now, everything's looking good. We're all ready for tomorrow's race, but before we begin, let's have a quick look at those who will be fronting the grid. Verstappen, Leclerc and Carlos Sainz. Well, that wraps up qualifying, but don't worry, we'll be back tomorrow as we head into the Grand Prix. Here we go then, it's Formula One in Marina Bay once again, and welcome to all of you at home who join us today for this fascinating race around the baking hot, horribly humid, but very beautiful streets of Singapore. We have a high risk of a safety car here today as the abundance of tight corners mixed with these wet conditions could put a few cars off into the barriers. 23 turns then, 13 to the left and 10 to the right, make up the 3.1 mile lap of Marina Bay. Joining me on this very wet day is a man who's no stranger to driving in miserable conditions. Anthony Davidson, you've driven open cockpit, you've driven sports cars. How does the wet weather experience change between the different disciplines? Well, I wouldn't say there's much difference in all honesty. You know, besides the terrifying closing speeds you find in sports cars with the different categories all sharing the same track, driving in the rain is, well, driving in the rain. Of course, the biggest difference between the two is the closed cockpit versus the open cockpit. 
You get the luxury of staying dry in the sports car, but if your screen ever gets dirty, well, that's a pit stop, not just wiping your visor or pulling away a tear off. But most of the time, you know, they're both as miserable as each other, to be honest. It's time to see how our drivers are stacking up after yesterday's exciting qualifying session. Max Verstappen put in a fantastic lap yesterday and he starts from pole position. And it's Charles Leclerc in P2. Looking down the rest of the grid we have... Sainz, Norris, Pierre Gasly, Moore, Perez, Bottas, Vettel and Nicholas Latifi, Ricardo, Russell, Nobuharu Matsushita and Joe, Stroll, Sonoda, Antonio Giovinazzi and Mick Schumacher. Mazepin and Esteban Ocon rounds off the grid. Which of these talented drivers will come out on top today? panic just yet but uh, we've seen a problem at our end we're looking into it don't panic just yet but uh, we've seen a problem at our end we're looking into it okay looks like a mechanical failure we're gonna have to ask you to find a safe spot to retire sorry about that a new strategy is Available on the MFD. Yo, 
you're okay. What a great race it's been then. Another classic Singapore Grand Prix, and they've held off to take the chequered flag here today. Anthony Davidson, how do you think they were able to set themselves apart today? Well, I honestly feel it was down to the driver and car today. I mean, we can talk driver skill all day, but if you don't have a solid team to back that, you're never going to get anywhere. When you hit that sweet spot of having both an excellent driver and an incredible car, that's when you see results like those we witnessed today. Mercedes are on top form once again after an excellent race weekend. It's great to see them up on that podium once again. Let's have a quick look at how the driver's standings have changed. Max Verstappen should be pleased with his performance, making gains at the top of the table. After an incredible day of racing, who was your driver of the day, Ant? Well, Lance Stroll would be my pick. He managed to keep a cool head today whilst pushing through the field. It's time to see how things are shaping up in the Constructors' Championship. Mercedes continue to extend their lead. It's been an absolutely wild weekend of Formula One action. I Bad luck out there today. Let's talk about it. Could you comment on the technical problems you had during the race? The car looks a little worse for wear. Can you walk us through what happened? It was more like dodgems than for... Did you feel that things went well for you today? Great. Well, that's everything. complete, let's review our top three today. Norris, Sainz and Max Verstappen. With qualifying wrapped up, we now have our grid line up for the big race tomorrow. Be sure to join us then for what will no doubt be a fantastic race. Welcome along then to the magnificent Suzuka International Circuit, a stone's throw away from Isa Bay in the beautiful Japanese countryside. 
What surprises lie in wait for us today in the Japanese Grand Prix? 18 corners make up a lap of the incredible figure of eight Suzuka circuit, with 10 to the right and eight to the left for a distance of 3.6 miles. Average lap speeds around here are fairly quick. If it stays dry, then expect somewhere in the region of 136 miles per hour. And as always, a man with plenty of racing experience joins me in the commentary box. Today, it's Anthony Davidson. Tell me, Ant, you're no stranger to surviving the melee of turn one. So how do you keep out of trouble when there's so much going on around you? Well, the throttle goes both ways, Crofty. You've got to have the discipline not to try and win the race on the first lap. So always be prepared to lift early and give those around you more space. Trying to be the last of the late breakers with half a dozen cars around you may pay off from time to time, but it's also a great way to lose your front wing. Let's run you through the driver grid order for today's exciting race. Lando Norris put in a fantastic lap yesterday and will start from pole position. And talented Spaniard Carlos Sainz completes the front row. Considering the rest of the grid, we have Verstappen, Leclerc, Moore and Bottas, Perez, Matsushita, Gasly and Daniel Ricciardo, Stroll, Giovinazzi, Sebastian Vettel and Joe, Sonoda, Mick Schumacher, Nicholas Latifi and Nikita Mazepin. Ocon, they've taken a grid penalty and George Russell ends our grid lineup. It's almost time for those five red lights to go out. Then let's see who can prevail today. Okay, here we go. I know what you can do. Don't let me down.
looks like we might have an issue. Hang in there, we're attempting to manage it. It looks critical. Find somewhere to retire as soon as possible. We can't risk you carrying on with this race. You might want to start being a little more conservative with your fuel. We may not finish at this rate of usage. Again, find somewhere safe to stop. We need you to retire. Are you okay? That was a nasty hit. Turn the engine off and wait for the marshals. So as they climb out of the car, the Red Bull team are ready and waiting to celebrate. A thoroughly well-deserved win. Tell me, Ant, how do you think they were able to deliver such an incredible result today? Well, they certainly stood out as a driver with tons of confidence on the track. I think their ability to keep their cool, even during some of the more hectic parts of the race, meant they were able to capitalise on the mistakes of other drivers, giving them the opportunity to make their way to the top spot with ease. Red Bull put up an outstanding fight for the front position today, and it's great to see it paid off for them. They do so much for the sport that you can't help but be delighted by today's race win. So, let's review the driver's standings. Max Verstappen should be pleased with his performance, making gains at the top of the table. Some amazing talent out on the track today, but Anthony, who would you pick as your driver of the day? There's a few contenders, but George Russell definitely stood out, I think. A really solid drive from him today, and one I'm sure the fans enjoyed. It's time to check out the constructors' standings. Mercedes continue to extend their lead. Meanwhile, a strong weekend from Red Bull this time out, and they improve their position in the championship. After an event like that, who knows what the sport has in store for us next time. Be sure to join us again as we continue to bring you the latest excitement in Formula One. Bad luck out there today. Let's talk about it. It looked like you had a few mechanical hiccups during that race. It's looking like the championship is already won. Do you think there's still time for this to change? Appreciate your time.